Hey there! Okay, so I haven't made a vlog in a while regarding my health. Um, I figured I should continue doing it because uh, the old videos I had made a few years ago have actually really helped myself um, on my bad days. So why not keep going with it? Um, today is February 9th, 2016, and I'm going to give a complete summary of what has been going on with my life and my health. Um, as compared to before, I was in Georgia with the second tumor. That was the only one that I documented. Um, because the first one I was kind of, I was too young for technology and all that stuff, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I'm in Gainesville, Florida again. And I work at Starbucks, living, loving life. Um, so yeah, there's really nothing interesting with my life that's going on since the last videos. Um, December 29th of 2015, I went to the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville because I was feeling really, really awful and just all of the, from mid-2015 to the end, I just started realizing that I was having a lot of symptoms that were showing that I was kind of ignoring because um, I was trying to get my life in order. So yeah, I went to the ER in Jacksonville and they did another uh, MRI because I haven't been keeping up with my yearly MRI since I don't have health insurance. Um, and they found a 13 millimeter tumor. Um, same type, same spot, same pesky little turd that keeps growing there. Um, so yeah, um, Mayo Clinic offered to um, have me come for three uh, separate appointments that would possibly have me approved for a, cha a charity um, application. And that being said, would cover me basically for all anything financial regarding my stay at the hospital. Um, they were really enthusiastic about it. Really seemed like it, I mean, I was convinced it was it was gonna happen. Um, so I went home, and for about a week and a half, I hadn't heard anything back from Mayo Clinic when they said they were going to call me back. Um, I called them back. They had the wrong number somehow, even though I had updated my information. Um, and they had told me, I went through like so many different people just to get to someone to explain what the charity application was and how I could qualify and how I could get these appointments started so I could actually um, get it done. And ultimately, uh, my situation, my health problem isn't quote unquote unique enough, L literally quote unquote unique enough to be accepted as a charity application at Mayo Clinic. Um, that being said, uh, that really frustrated me because once again I'm losing um, vision in my left eye. Um, I've lost a good amount of my peripheral vision in my left eye. Uh, it's not awful, but I mean it, it's the fact of the matter is the tumor is pressing up against my um, optic nerve yet again. Um, and just emotions, balance, pains in general have been a complete pain in the butt. But it was really frustrating to me that they didn't see that as a, um, a good enough situation to be um, helped with. But anyways, so what they had told me is that if I was to come up with $5,000, if I was to come back to them with it, they would basically let me have an appointment for them to see me for that $5,000, to tell me everything that I need and already know to get helped, but I'd have to continue to pay for further treatment. So Mayo Clinic really didn't help out that much aside from finding the tumor. So that being said, they gave me uh, a number to a neurosurgeon in Orlando, Florida. So I called that guy, spoke to him. He doesn't even help with that. He doesn't do surgeries like uh, regarding brain tumors. So then he gave me a number to another person. And then that person I called yet again couldn't help me. At that point, I decided, obviously, I had no other option than Shans. But it's not... Just with the first situation when I was 14 and I had the brain bleed, I really, really, really looked at the situation very negatively. So I was kind of nervous to go to Shans, considering the first surgery I had there didn't go that great. Um, so that being said, I was... Uh, was working and I got really 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 lightheaded when I was working like crazy lightheaded and I wasn't even doing anything at the moment I was positioned on register 
Um, and I had to, I, I had to get out. I had to leave because I felt like I was going to faint. So then I had um, contacted some friends that had helped me out, and they took me to the ER. Um, th- thankfully, I conveniently work in Shans, by the way, which is great. So I wasn't too far away from actually going to the ER. Um, so I went to the ER, sat in there for about eight something hours, of course. Um, I was there overnight, and they just did some, they ran some labs and stuff, and they had found out that, uh, some of my, um, hormones, um, I can't remember the name of the hormone, that, it, like, uh, basically one of the hormones that I, um, that was affecting me being, like, tired and whatnot, uh, was very, very low, so that's why I was so incredibly tired and I had no energy, um, that being the issue, with the brain tumor and affected my pituitary gland. So they helped me, they kept me there until all my labs and stuff were good and I was given the clear. Um, so they offered me a charity application as well because I don't have health insurance. Um, so I applied for the charity application in about a, about a week, I'd say, a week and a half went by. Um, and I was constantly in contact with the, uh, my neurosurgeon's um, assistant and just everyone up there has been absolutely amazing. They were really on top of getting it approved. Um, so they got it approved last week, which was amazing, amazing news. Um, and I'm scheduled for surgery on the 10th, which is tomorrow. So what they're going to do for the surgery is the exact same thing they did the first time. Um, they're going to go through my nostril move my septum to the side and then go all the way back there and get rid of the little bugger. Hopefully it's the last time. Um, may or may not take fat from my stomach and put it back up there. That way it can form scar tissue. Um, I don't know if they're going to do that. They didn't do it the first time. I'm kind of nervous about it. Um, but the other thing I'm, I'm most nervous about is the, the fear of having another brain bleed because it wasn't really necessarily the most pleasant experience I've had in my life. So, but I'm, I'm trying to keep positive. I'm just kind of super nervous, especially because it's tomorrow. I should have been on these videos way sooner, but I haven't been. So, yeah. Um, but I'm going to try my best to um, make videos to show my pro- progress and healing and whatnot. Um, May or may not make it take a video while I'm in ICU like I did when I was 17. Um, I'd like to, to help, you know, so maybe I could put these videos together or something um, at some point. But brain tumor number three, three times the time of the fun. Hopefully this is the last time, third time's a charm, hopefully. Um, after this, after I heal up from surgery, they're most likely, they've discussed it with me, going to do a treatment of radiation. Um, I would only need one treatment. And, like, they explained to me is, I guess it's gonna be, like, a halo that goes around my head. And they have, like, two little thingies in the front and the back of my head. And they said it would burn a little bit, but it wouldn't be, like, too crazy. And then, like, little lasers to focus on my tumor and zap it. But... Um, hopefully that helps if they really do do it, and I'll document that as well, but just wanted to make another one of these. Hopefully I don't have to keep making these, but yep, so tomorrow's the day. Thank you for watching. Peace out, and thank you for everyone. Thank you to everyone that has been so amazing. I've had so much support, just so much support in the last three weeks since all of this has happened. So thank you to everyone. Thank you so, so, so much for everything that you've done for me, for all your support. I can't thank you enough.